So I wanted to try to do a better job of explaining this. I made one already, but it was drowned out by the noise of of the uh, of the anchor drops. And I, I don't think I was talking loud enough or the music in the background or the sound effects. Anyway, it didn't work out as good. So you can't hear half of what I'm saying. So anyway, you start off in Stormhaven. Okay, you go Stormhaven. In Stormhaven, there is a boatswain that goes to Alakar Desert. I looked this up how you pronounce it. Alakar. Okay? So you go to Stormhaven. You can get to it via Glen Umbra and many other countries around it. So look for Stormhaven. Go down here to the docks. This is so simple. I'm keeping it simple. And there is a boat. Swain. And this boat swain will take you to the Alakar Desert. Okay? See the other countries around Stormhaven here? That, there are no roads that go into Alakar Desert, as far as I know. Leave comment in the comment section if you think there is. But this is all I know. Is, and this this is a character that I made years and years ago, and, and I've wandered all over the place with it. So that's not it. That's some people getting ready to do something nefarious. Let's move on down here and ask uh, this guy and let's see what he says. Okay, yeah, do you want to go to the Alakar Desert? And that's how it's pronounced. And so I say yes. Let's go to the Alakar Desert. And he says okay. Now I cut a little bit to make this a little shorter. But it doesn't look like it. But it's not too bad. Now we're here. You got to travel to it, and uh, even though I have all the way shrines, I'm going to pretend that I don't. Okay, I'm going to be like a person who does not have the way shrines. I know where they're at, and you can watch my video and help to understand where they're at. Now you just got off the docks, and you get your horse out. Your horse is probably not going to be as fast as this one because you're probably you're probably a four or five by now. You're probably not a level one. You're gonna you're gonna level some just uh, getting to where these are at now. I've done the Sigic quest. I've got to stop for these. These are Sigic portals. So if you do the uh, Somerset, I think that's how it's pronounced, Sigic. Then you get uh, the ability to find these invisible portals and open them, and they're all over the place. Now I'm gonna show you something here. You need you need to know. You cannot go this way. It is a uh, heels, and so you have to go around it. So I'm just doing my best to try to get to one of those three way shrines. There's three way shrines, okay? And you want to get to the three way shrines. They each one go off one after another. Pretty much, they give you just about enough time to uh, use the way shrine to get to the next one, which is a super good coincidence and is in your favor since running around way shrines can level you up. Now here's my thought on this and this is what I did. There's probably people going to tell me I'm completely wrong. So you're running these way shrines and if you run them all the time you're going to go nuts because it just, it's just tedious boredom going round and round and round and round and running from place to place. So when you get to level 10 you can be a healer. So when you get to level 10 and why do I say healer? DPS, you're not going to do much damage as a DPS at level 10. Oh, well, you'll do all kinds of damage. Well, I'm a tank and I see level 10s hitting monsters. They don't do a lot of damage. Now, you could, you could, this is a thought. By the time you're level 10, you've picked up a, a restoration staff and you can use it as a weapon. Don't use it to heal. Use it as a weapon because it'll beam just about as fast as a lightning staff. Or get a pick up a lightning staff. Here's why you want something that can go that can hit uh, really quick because there are going to be a lot of people here. And if you're trying to hit something with a bow and arrow or sword, it, it's going to take it a little while. If you're going to try to run up, hit it with a club, somebody's probably killed it before you get that chance to do that. So hit it with something where you can attack it from a distance. Okay, and you're low level. So here is one. It's not the one I wanted to hit first, but look, it's down here. At Goathead. I think I'm, I'm going to be at Goathead first. 
think this is it. Yeah, I believe this is the this is one of them, but it's not the one up, the one that's up north. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. You need all three to do this right. So you go up here and you uh, get this way shrine. I already have it. Now I have that way shrine. I need two more. So I'm going to see if I can't get the one in the north. It's right here. Okay? So I need that white shrine. So if you're here and it's just about to go off, go ahead and run it. But then you want to go north and go to the next white shrine. See, this is probably the hardest part. People don't know where the white shrines are. And here in Alagar Desert, they go off one after another. And it's just, it's just about perfect. But when you get to be level 10, you can go in as a healer. Now, if you want to go in as DPS, go ahead. But as a healer, you're in the back row, and you're not going to die as often. And do heal people. I mean, don't just be a fake healer. You can heal people uh, by uh, one at a time. You're probably not going to have radial healing just yet, or any of the other uh, more advanced healing spells. But you can do something like that, and you'll be you'll be a great asset to that dungeon. And here's here's why I say healer. Because there aren't a lot of healers in the game. They're like tanks. So if you queue up as a healer, you'll get in quicker than as a DPS, I think. I may be wrong, but since there are fewer of them, because hardly anybody wants to be one. Now, it's not that way, Shrine. You're going to pat. You might as well get that one while you're there. And this is a long slog. But look, you're going north, and you're going to get this way, Shrine, up here. Now, I'm coming in from the back side of this thing. Now, if you encounter uh, monsters uh, or attackers, you know, just ignore them and uh, run past them. That was the way shrine, uh, not the way shrine, but the anchor drop. But I want this way shrine. There it is. Now I have. If I go touch it, I'll have two way shrines. Now, I already have this way shrine, but now you have the one in the north and the one that's. Uh, Southwest, and now you need this one over here. This Obtain one is the one Citadel. in the east. So you're going to ride to the east. So here's what I've said so far. You're going to go one after another. Watch to see the pattern that they go in. And then follow them. So usually it, after this one fires off at Alucard, it goes out to the east. And then it'll go down to the south, and then it'll go back up to the top, to the north. And it just runs around in that uh, clockwise pattern like that. So as it fires off, there'll be, there'll be another one fire off not long after that at one of the other locations. So you use the way shrines. You can't ride to them fast enough. As you can see, I'm riding uh, on a horse that's all the way maxed out on riding. And... I there's no way I can catch each one dropping. And I'm having to run around heels, but I'm trying to get out there. So you'll have to run around heels too. And you're only doing this one time. You're only going to get over there and get around these heels. So here's what I would do. I would look up Alucard Desert and the, uh, the way shrines and then mark them on my map. And then you'll have a horse run out there and if you don't have a horse look at that there's another stygic portal so i gotta stop it's like squirrel to uh to a dog i guess or a cat look so i have to pick those up because you don't never know what's in them there could be a kudo rune or a hakaja which are you know quite valuable so i've got to stop see what's in them and sometimes you get scrying leads but I, I hardly ever scry. I've tried scrying and it puts me to sleep more than playing the game. Uh, it kind of takes me out of the game. I want to be immersed in the game, as in fighting monsters, and that one kind of takes me out of it. But, you know, maybe I'll change my mind and get into scrying later. Okay, so here it is. Here's the third of those. Now it's up on this hill. And somebody, somebody else has got to the party late, too. So you just have to ride your horse up here. 
or whatever you're riding and get it up here and then come down and then uh, fight down here. Now, one of the problems I, I'm, I'm doing my signature move of swinging my sword around like an idiot and uh, it doesn't do any good. So what I need to do, now I talk, so I can, I can actually get experience points on one of these by taunting, but you can't get taunted till you're 50 nearly. Uh, so you see people being tanks in these low level dungeons, a lot of times uh, you can't really blame them for being fake tanks if they're like not leveled up enough to have taunts. Because you have to uh, have the undaunted quest, and I think you can't. You can't even start a daunted until you're like 40 something. And and taunt doesn't just come right off as, as a, the first thing you're gonna get. So when you see really low level tanks, they're probably not really tanks. And you see really low level healers, they probably are low level healers if they have any healing spells. You can get healing spells if you pick up a staff. And it's easy to pick up a staff here when you're when you're uh, killing these monsters, just come in here, do your best, find a staff, grab it. Now, as far as gear goes, now look, the psychic uh, magic that I have on my back bar is interfering with me being it, and so I'm trying to heal people. I don't know if that's going to give me any experience or all. I just this wanted to use my staff me. like you'd use a lightning staff to zap uh, monsters, but I don't think I can. Now, that this one's dead. I just wanted to show you that you'll, you'll always get a chest. And then what you do then is just go to the next one. So yeah, I'm kind of disoriented here. Where he is, I think it's up this way. Some people will just wait at these way shrines or skip a way shrine. And once they skip a way shrine, then uh, it's still going to be quicker. So they know they can't ride there fast enough. So they'll skip the next one it will go to and go to the next one. The skip one. You could do that if you want to take it more leisurely. I mean, it's up to you what you want to do on these. So now I'm at Goathead and I'm going to get my horse out and ride. See how it just now popped right up after I teleported over here? So you're not having to wait on a way shrine uh, or on an anchor drop for one anchor in one place to drop, which can feel like an eternity. See, now I'm zapping them. Now if I, if, if you're, you probably won't have Sigic magic starting right off. Tag as many as you can. You don't have to actually kill anything on you. Just the more of you tag, I think the more points you get. Now some people want to group with you. And if they want to group, group, group with them. Yeah, do that. Because, and then try to run with them the best you can. Because they're, their kills will they'll be sharing the experience with you and it'll level you up more now i tell you about running dungeons because if you just run these anchor drops it can become maddening and maddening you're trying to get up to 50 or 60 and all you're doing is going around and around this thing so i i think once you get to be 10 i go do a few dungeons i'm thinking maybe fun will, you're not you don't want to pick your dungeon doesn't matter. They're not going to be a, They're not usually going to put you in a real high level dungeon if you're like a 10 or 12 or 13 or 14. Because there's requirements for each dungeon. So you'll get like a Spindle Clutch 1, or Fungal's Grotto 1, or Vanish Cells 1. Uh, later you'll get Lots of Madness. You're going to get some fairly low level dungeons. Sometimes you're gonna get tanks like me that come in and have a They just they just want to get their experience points. And they're, they're, they're more than happy to help you get through that stuff. Uh, it's, if it's their 100k experience points for that day, they don't care. You know, they probably don't even care if you're not a great healer. So, but here's what I would do. I would try. You want to you want to look like you're doing it okay so you want to look like you're healing you must try to heal and and do your parts now if you want to play dps go at it i'm just saying if you're really low level i don't know how much damage you're really going to do to some of these 
Although the game says it's scaled to each player, so for what that's worth, you might be able to do more damage than I think you can. Uh, here's the different layout of them. Uh, for some reason, I can't teleport. Now I finally got to teleport. So, I'm back at the other one. This one's about to go off. Any second now. Look up at the sky. And you can see it. And these little these little guys right here, they they're they're pretty mad that I ran by them until they want they want to knock me off my horse. So I'm just gonna uh, run around in circles. I see them. I don't really have anything to do with them. Okay, here comes the anchor drop, and you're here. See how I'm using that? Like, if you want to, you could also have on the other bar. Once you get where you can use two bars, a lightning staff. I'm the healing people here. You know when I want to use that in a dungeon? I never can get it to work. But here, when I don't want to use it, it works just great. I think you get your points, and I could be wrong. You pretty promise I am. I'm wrong about a lot. I don't think you can get points by healing other people on the uh, bank of rock. I think you have to kill the monster. Well, I'm caught it. But for you, I think it, uh, do what you want to do. Here's three anchor drops. Three anchor drops, and if you do it right, you can hit each and every one of them as it's doing its drop. Okay? So, make the best of it you want. I hope you like this video. I'm thinking about taking that Sigic Magic off. Probably saying the name wrong. I just wouldn't run anchor drops because it's maddening. If you don't feel like using a restoration staff, you could use a lightning staff. Oh yeah, as far as gear goes, uh, just look up what you find on the on the floor, and until you're like 50 something, don't worry about it. Dress yourself in, uh, this is my thoughts on it. Just dress yourself in whatever Sometimes falls. The uh, and get rid of the low level armor. Just dispose of it. Destroy it. Put on new level. You don't have much time. You're, you're running these things. And if you really want to stay where you're at, uh, just go to uh, campaign. So once you get a high enough level. And then go to uh, Imperial City uh, Sewers. And that way you don't have to go away anywhere. And then when you go back out the door, you'll be right back where you were. Are you following me on this? Because once you go out the door, the exit of the sewers, you're, you'll be automatically back where you are. And why would you go there? Well, it's got a bank. It's got a, a merchant right there. And you didn't have to buy them. And once you go out the exit, you're back exactly where you were. So here's some, here's some dungeons that I think... Uh, are good for low level people but see you're I would run them random I wouldn't queue them I would just run them random because they're not going to uh, they're not going to put you in anything like like uh, uh, that's really dangerous like earthen root I don't think they're going to put you in that not at a level 10 or 11, 12 or 13 or 30. I mean, they might put you in there at one of those higher levels. But I would just say, we're done. I hope you've enjoyed my video. And here's where uh, I think you should go to help you to level way fast. Okay?